afternoon, everyone, or I should say good morning, I guess. The weekend's finally here. Uh, hope everyone has a good Memorial weekend, a good Memorial Day. Be safe, but have fun. I'm headed out to that old abandoned farm I was been looking for. I, I got a pretty good idea where it's at. I uh, asked around. Sorry about that. Guy jogging in the road. But anyway, I asked around. Some local folks here. Nobody actually really knew exactly where it was, but they all had an idea where it was at. So I kind of put all their information together. And uh, I think I, I think I can find it. That's where we're headed to right now. Go ahead and find this old abandoned farm. And uh, see what we can find out there. Of course, I'm out here in the National Forest again. That's where all this stuff is at. Uh, I'm not gonna give the exact location of it, because if I find it, that is, because I don't want it to get vandalized and you know destroyed if it's not already. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever been out here, but I don't like giving these places out because it seems like somebody got to come along and spray paint all over it and just you know completely destroy it. I don't really see the fun in that, so I don't really tell nobody where these spots are at. Oh, that truck was on the wrong side of the road. It scared me. <laughs> okay, let's quit yapping. Go see if we can find this old farm. I'll be back as soon as I get there. Good evening, everybody. It's me, old drifter. Um, first of all, hope you all having a happy Memorial weekend. Uh, being safe, but having fun. What am I doing today? Well, I looked for two days to find that old abandoned farm. I finally found it. I'm actually here right now, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there because there's people, uh, people who are out here working. They're like gathering the hay. Let's see if I can turn you around. If you look way down there. See Mr. Farmer down here working. Um, yeah, I kind of fooled my plans. I was, I'm still may go in there. I don't know. We'll have to see. Right here, that's the old part, some of the old Bannon farm. See the houses all growed up. And there's a, quite a few buildings out here one down there that's the farmers pickup I'm assuming I may have to come back here I don't know um, I don't know if I should try to go in with him here or not because it's got a sign saying stay out of the buildings you can be here on the property but uh stay out of the buildings I don't know what to do um, We may have to come back to this one. I know another spot I can go to though. I tell you what, we may just come back later. Let me pause this. I know another spot I can go to. And then we'll come back and check this I'm out. I'm looking for a, a natural spring is supposed to be out here somewhere. And I'm not having no luck finding it. But I am deep out in these woods. Uh, which I am on a trail. It's not a well-maintained trail it's probably more likely it's probably people like me has made this trail but uh yeah i'm way out here in the middle of nowhere i'm gonna keep looking for a spring i know it's out here somewhere i, I came to it years ago if i don't get stuck right here uh, i just can't remember where it was at uh oh I guess we're gonna put old girl in four wheel drive. Give me just a second here. Neutral. Four high. Drive. Got a 
love that four wheel drive. That tree's now, I like old Black Betty. She takes me just about anywhere I want to go. But what was we rambling about? Oh yeah, uh, the spring. I'm not 100% sure where it's at, I can't remember. I mean, it's been probably, I don't know, 10 years since I've been to it. It's pretty cool because it uh, comes out of the ground. It goes, I don't know, probably uh, five feet, 10 feet maybe, I don't even remember. And it goes right back down in the ground. Kind of like a little sinkhole-like deal. And then you walk through the woods a little bit Oh, probably about five minutes and it comes out you know it's running out of the ground into a creek it's just uh it's one of them things you just have to see it's pretty neat you know don't sound like much talking about it but when you see it it's pretty cool i just realized i'm driving through no abandoned campground because i've been seeing these posts see that post right there it's got number eight on it and there's one right here in front of my truck It's not going to focus, focus, focus. It's got a number seven. And they just continue on down through here with numbers on them. So I think at one time, this might have been a campground. But yeah, I'm going to pause this video because y'all know me. I start rambling about nothing and it gets like to be a 45 minute movie. So let me pause this and I'm going to continue looking on for that natural spring. And we are going back to the abandoned farm. I just got to wait till Mr. Farmer leaves. Okay, I'll be back. All right, we are walking on foot right now. I'm parked. You can see right up there is my truck. Right there's old Black Betty right there. The reason I'm parked here is there's a gate locked across this road. Um, I got on Google's map, you know, looking for. That's how I how I find a lot of these places. And I got on there looking for a. Uh, that spring if I could recognize any, any landmarks or anything I'm walking on no path or probably a road probably but, but anyway I'm rambling already but on Google's map I saw a structure it looked like a building or something I don't know really I couldn't tell what it was it looks to be we was over there I mean a long ways probably about a mile or so on another gravel road way over there and I was just kind of searching the maps and it looked like down here off in this area there's something I don't know we're gonna walk down here and find out what it is I don't know how far it is on the maps it looked like it might have been maybe a mile three quarters of a mile something like that but it can't be too awful far because I can see water right down there through the trees it may not show up on here but yeah, focus. No, I don't really show, but the water is just right over the hillside. So it can't be too far. But we're going to walk down here and investigate what that is. Uh, if I see something cool, I'll show you. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to pause the camera, but if I see something cool along the way, I'll bring you back. Or when we get to wherever, wherever this is down here. So hang on. We'll be back just a minute. Well, I think I found it. Uh, I'm not sure what this used to be. Uh, I found what I seen on Google's Maps. Getting dark, ain't it? Roaming around out here in the sun. But anyhow, uh, if you look, I've come across the area. See all this shiny and you know white looking? That's actually asphalt, like a parking lot. It opens up real big. This wide area goes way up the hill. I've been walking for a few minutes. But this was a parking lot for something it's this little ridge of concrete that's you know little island they call them in the middle of parking lots it goes all the way around so uh, at one time this was some kind of attraction some kind of tourist thing it's right down there I see it give you a little glimpse of it through the trees there you see like a looks like a ladder or something there in the woods I can see it good it don't show up on camera good we're gonna walk down there though um, huh. I gotta be careful because I got my snake resistant pants on today 
that says silo overlook. Well, we're gonna go down here and overlook, I guess. This wasn't my plan for the day. My plan was to explore that abandoned farm. I finally found it. it took me two days to find it, but I, I get there and there's like, I don't know if it's abandoned or not, there was farmers there. So. But we're gonna go back and check it out later. We found something else cool, so. Yeah, this is a, at one time, this was something. You can see this fancy little, I don't know what this might have been, but there's like these timbers. They're making a big circle here, so. That area was something at one time. I have no clue what. Oh, I see now. This was part of that. Some of it's missing. Pretty neat, whatever it is. So whatever it was, extended down to this. Some kind of overlook, you can climb up there and look out at the water, but some of it's missing, so we're not gonna be able to do that. And it don't look safe enough to be up on there anyway. Well, I, I don't think I'd wanna get on there. That thing is rotten. I mean, bad rotten. You see the parts you walked on? Yeah. You wouldn't have got me up there anyway, so I'm not missing nothing on that deal. But there is a path here that I guess leads down to whatever the building is. So we'll still walk down there and check that out. Wow, well, man, that thing was high up in there. Oh, there's the, the building I seen right there. You know, that sign back there said silo overlook. That is no silo, like a grain silo. Man, spider webs. I'm covered up in them. <coughs> I can tell nobody's been down here today because the spider webs ain't knocked down. Which they are now, because I'm knocking them down. Hmm. Of course, there's your typical graffiti mm, same old same old people can't spell then graduate school so this is the best thing to do on the reading and writing but that thing is huge and I'm assuming at one time you could have got up there and overlooked I guess the lake it looks like you would have walked around on that part there oh sorry hit my arm yeah, pretty interesting. Hmm. We'll just keep on walking and see what we find then. Can't explore the farm, we'll explore this. Oh, well, looks like at one time you might have got in it. I don't think I want to go in there. It smells. Yeah, that was rough smelling. But I see some more than timbers. Decoratively, like the yard timbers. I'm making another circle here. So evidently, you could have came out here. But yeah, it overlooks the lake. I can see the water over there. So you would have been way, way up there on top of that thing looking out over the lake so that's pretty cool yeah give me just a second let me get on my phone and see if i can find something out about this place so i got online on my phone there uh, i couldn't find out a whole lot of information on this but what i could scratch up man i can't get over how high that is but what i could scratch up about it is I'm in that TVA, land between the lakes area. So this used to be part of a working farm. And whenever they uh, took over and run everybody out, pretty much what they did, forced them out. Uh, whether you agree with that or not, I mean, this is people's homes and it was forced out. But yeah, this was uh, turned into like an attraction, kind of. It was an actual working silo at one time, grain silo. And they turned it into a, uh, 
you know, tourist little tourist trap, come out here and look at the water, kind of thing, you know. Okay, that was that. We figured out what I've seen on the Google's map now. So we can tromp back out of these woods. Some more of that catwalk or whatever you call it to get up to it. It was, at one time in its heyday, it was probably a, actually a pretty cool place, probably. Anyway, let's get out of here. We've seen about all we're going to see here. I want to get back to that farm. I really do. It looked like it had a, you know, a, the house. Oh, I can take up, excuse me. Uh, it looked like it had the house. Kind of looked like a cabin was on the property. And a couple old barns. We'll see if we can get back over here and check it out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I've been out in these woods looking for this ferry or spring. Uh, I've been driving about an hour. I don't think I'm gonna find it. <laughs> I've, but anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna turn around because this road is getting a little rough. A little bit rougher than when I want to put my truck through. I'm just gonna show you what I've been going through to get here. So give me, camera's gonna be all shaky and moving around because I'm gonna try to not get stuck and hold this at the same time. So let me get turned around and uh, y'all just ride back out of the woods with me and then we'll call today. All right, so this is where I'm at. Hopefully this ain't where I'm gonna spend the night at. I'll definitely have to go car wash and wash my old truck. Cause I do not like bringing it out in places like this. I know it's kind of funny to have a four-wheel drive and don't ever want to get it dirty, but that's just how I am. I'm picky like that. Oh man, I got that suspension stretched out. You hear it creaking and popping. I sure I don't back into a tree because that would break my heart to get a big dent in my truck. Alright, I just have to apologize for the again for the camera being all shaky and every which angle. I'll do the best I can and plus try not to get stuck. Stuck now, let's get out of here, girl. It's really not that muddy. That's not what I'm worried about. So somebody's been back here in a huge full drive. Humongous tires on it, because these ruts are man, these ruts are deep. I gotta switch back over to the side over here. Wait a minute, I can ride that ridge there, can I? Yeah, let's do that. Let's ride that. not too bad but we got a rough one coming up but yeah I had a little trouble getting up it coming in here oh goodness yeah, that hole's not too deep the bad thing is 
I've had to go through some mud now I got my tires all muddy and slick and I gotta go through this this section we're coming up to is pretty rough uh, again it's not muddy but the ruts are so deep uh, it articulated my suspension about as far as it wanted to go I mean I had things creaking and popping I've never heard creak and pop before and don't show on here on the on the video but we're going down a humongous hill I've been having to ride the brakes all the way down it and when we get down to this spot I'm talking about I'm gonna have to shut up and pay attention because I could very easily get high centered right here or articulate my suspension too much and break an axle or something like that so we're getting to it right here now I know it don't show on camera but this is actually pretty bad let's see which way I don't go on this side I guess so I'm already over here it's too late now shaky camera it just don't do justice on here how bad this is put some going downhill too bad coming down it because uh kind of know which route to take now going up it i didn't take the best route Wasn't too bad I mean going up it I was I guess I don't know maybe it's because I was climbing that big hill but it was making all kinds of noises and spinning I had uh, had our suspension articulated articulation means the, the way the suspension moves them down but I had one wheel front wheel off the ground one back wheel off the ground and I was trying to get stuck yeah it was pretty dramatic going up but it wasn't too bad coming down it huh so we're coming up on some more mud holes here. They're not too bad. If I wanted to, I could goose her pretty good and shoot on through here. But again, I'm not trying to destroy my truck. I just like creeping through these trails. Which this trail, I could have made it through it. I'm very confident, no trouble at all. But I'm just not trying to abuse my truck like that. You know, all that does is tear everything up, and then you gotta spend all this money that I don't have to fix it. You know, I ain't trying to do all that, so. We'll just creep through here like an old man. This video is probably 40 minutes long by now, which I can cut a lot of it out. Just pretty much a whole lot of nothing, me rambling. I can cut a lot of that out. I can probably cut this right here out. stick to slap my truck see that hurts me you know it might as well slap me um, I think I'm almost the end of it now I can't remember yeah I believe this is getting close to the end so I'm gonna stop right down here in the shade uh, it's 93 degrees a day 100% humidity again I mean it's just roasting uh, so I'm gonna stop down here. I've been just, I've just been crawling around, not getting much air to my motor on my truck. So she's running a little warm. I can show you my my gauge. Yeah, she's running a little warm, about 190 degrees, which ain't bad. I mean, anywhere between one 185 and 200, it's not you know it's suitable. It's not nothing to get worried about. 
A 200, you need to keep an eye on it because you don't have much more room for it to go up before you start doing damage. The 190, that's actually a, an ideal operating temperature. Not so much for this truck. This truck normally runs about 180, 185. So 190 is kind of high for this truck. Uh, yeah, I just keep an eye on my little gauge down there. I think I'm gonna stop right here. It seemed like a good spot. Give me just a second, folks. I know, but we're near death with this. I think I'm gonna stop right here. Get out, cause I'm a little hot myself. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like seeing my truck muddy like that. It's dirty. Man. <laughs> I know, call me crazy. I just don't like getting her dirty. I like taking care of her. But anywho, enough of that. Uh, man, I got dark. It don't take me long to catch a tan. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get off here. I believe I'm gonna call today out here in these woods. It's so hot. And Memorial Weekend, there's people everywhere. You know, hiking trails, riding bikes, camping. Which is no, I mean, nothing wrong with that. That's their right to do. I'm just saying it's a little crowded. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of greedy. I like to have this place to myself. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get off here in this video. I believe on the way back out, I had this forest. I'm gonna a couple more spots I'm gonna hit and see if I can find something. If I do, I'll try to get it on film. Uh, but anyway, yep, leave me on call today. Till I see you again, have a safe memorial weekend. Say hello to all my friends and subscribers. Uh -huh.